After being in preview for the better part of 2019 and early 2020, Adobe Photoshop Camera has now exited this testing phase and is available to download on the Google Play Store, provided you have an officially compatible device. So what is it and what does it do? Well, let's go hands on. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So Adobe Photoshop Camera might not be an application that you've been massively aware of, but it is looking to leverage the powerful Adobe tools and AI that millions around the globe have used for years in Photoshop. And then it condenses them into your smartphone camera setup. Now, of course, that is a very simplified explanation of Adobe Photoshop Camera, as it's more than just a filter adjustment application. It can actually do far more with real-time effects that provide incredibly accurate and most importantly, impressive results. So unlike Instagram and many other filter apps out there, the effects and filters on Photoshop Camera are all applied in real time. You've probably seen many of these stock effects before in similar applications, but this time around you can just snap and do all of the editing in one convenient place. And similarly, unlike other Adobe apps, Photoshop Camera is completely free, or at least it is free for the time being. You can sign into an existing Adobe Creative Cloud account, but I must admit it didn't seem to offer me anything extra as a subscriber for over three or four years at this point. If you've used any camera replacement app before, then you should be at home with Photoshop Camera from the get-go. Upon launch, it will instantly load your selfie camera. Clearly, Adobe wants us to jazz up our selfies, but you can switch to your rear main camera sensor. Notice how I said main camera sensor there, as you can't yet utilize any of your other lenses with Photoshop Camera just yet. We're not sure though if support will come with a future update, or if it will just be limited to a solo lens on supported handsets. To get started, just tap the filter icon. Weirdly though, there are two with one just above the shutter button. And then of course you can swipe between any live filters. Once you select your preset, swiping in the viewfinder area will switch between any variations of each filter. I think this is a strength though of Adobe Photoshop camera from the outset over similar apps. It's because the number of options you get of the same type of image filter are slightly higher than any competing application. You'll also notice the filter applied within the viewfinder once you've done so allowing you to frame, fine tune, focus, and tap that shutter button when you're happy. All of the effects will be baked into your image, but you can open photos and tweak them yourself or simply revert back to the originals if you do wish to do so. Being able to have instant filters applied when taking a photo might make for some interesting social posts, particularly Instagram. As this is in the initial launch though, there aren't a lot of filters to choose from either just yet. My biggest gripe though is that while the app only just has launched, most of the effects are far too similar from the get-go. Adobe Photoshop Camera though is polished. I only noticed a couple of slowdowns when using the portrait mode. Similarly, the results were about on par with what the OnePlus 8 Pro was capable of outside of the box. The added controls within Adobe Photoshop Camera for making adjustments is pretty basic, but it does include auto fix options. I found this to be solid if a little overzealous at times, and it will just normally up the highlights and shadows for a brighter overall image. This does help the strength of your filter effect though, I will say that. The fact that you can do what I would consider normally intensive sky replacement effects though in real time is particularly impressive and something that not many other applications can do out there. The results though can be hit or miss, which I would imagine depends heavily on the device you're using and the camera sensor inside, but for the most part they are a step above what you see in competing applications from mostly unknown developers. It would be cool though to be able to stack effects, but that is not necessarily a massive negative. Another big bonus is the lack of ads, which often cripple similar free photo manipulation apps out there. Of course, to download from the Google Play Store, you will need a compatible device. However, it does look like side loading might work for non-supported devices, at least unofficially. Is Adobe Photoshop Camera though a must have? No, but it is actually impressive to get what we consider normally high-end post-processing effects right in your viewfinder and in real time. With that in mind, I think it's definitely worth a download and giving a go if you can get it working on your device. Of course, if you've been using Photoshop Camera already, let us know what you think so far down in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google and I will speak to you later.